Hey everybody and welcome. And here is the secrets revealed for the Gold Zero Lighthouse mini or such. <clears throat> now, first thing, the goodness to it. People wondered about the prioritized battery that they have. It's actually not really fancy. What they do uh, under this tape that they have their fancy logo and such forth on is there are two uh, rods going on the inside of this. Uh, it's just over the tape, um, over the battery and under the tape. Basically, there's a positive rod and a negative rod. The negative rod comes from the bottom, goes to the top. That way you have both the positive and negative uh, terminals up here. And then you have a positive rod going to the negative place so you have a double side end. But basically, this is exactly the same 18650 cell that you can f buy off the market and such forth. All you need to do is just remove those two terminal ends and the rods after cutting the tape. And now you have a standard positive top and negative bottom 18650 cell. Awesome. Not to mention, these are only 15 bucks for a 3,000 mayhem lithium ion battery. That's pretty cool. Versus other ones that you see on the market that sell for like 30 to 40 bucks for this kind of mayhem battery ability. So you're getting a decent price. I'm pretty sure that now that everybody knows this, it's going to be out of stock on their website like a flash. <laughs> so that's their secret revealed. Another secret that isn't technically really a secret, it's just their dumb mechanics for a tech uh, person, which I don't know who can get a brain for it, but um, people that believe that one side of this being lit at max uh, brightness is only 105 lumens. No. It's 210 lumens. And then when you have both sides on, it's still 210 lumens. How does the technology work on this? It's simple. You have a wall in the middle and two individual LEDs. When you turn it on one side LED, it only lights up one LED on this side. And the other LED is not activated. So both of these LEDs have to be identical LEDs to perform the exact same ability. <clears throat> so 210 lumens, 210 lumens, not 105 lumens and 105 lumens. Because if you had both the same 105 lumens, you wouldn't have 210 lumens. Get what I mean? <clears throat> so yeah, it's nothing new, nothing too fancy. And if this is five watts rated, that means one lumen on, I mean one LED on one side is technically 2.5. And then the other side is 2.5. And so when it's on max performance, it's five watts of LED power. Another thing with the same uh, tech guy, whatever, who, whoever works for them, again, I don't know how stupid they can be, but how, let me get this right, how in the heck are you supposed to get 5,000, no, not 1,000, 500 hours of performance for this side when we can only get about 48 hours of performance on one side for the 250? or 24 hours for both sides on low for the performance. When this sucker right here, the 250, has a bigger battery versus 3000 mayhem. This has 4000 and 400 mayhem. Basically it's two, uh, 2200 mayhems um, linked in parallel. And yet this has lower runtime versus 
a device that's smaller and has a bigger runtime? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I think their person, their tech person needs to be fired because I don't have a big tech degree or some crap like that uh, to get a degree of such like that, but even I can figure that out. And if I can figure that out, that means that person more of an idiot than they think they are. <clears throat> so yeah, they need to get a better tech guy. <laughs> or whatever. But anyways. And also, neat feature. Uh, for people wondering about the contacts on this for the battery, for inside the housing of the system itself, um, they use actual pins. They don't use uh, a spring-loaded mechanism like most other devices that, like other flashlights that have double A um, kind of flashlight ability, where it has like a spring that contacts onto the back end and it pushes on it to make it so it stays sturdy inside. Um, it has three print pins, two pins that contact on the center of the outer ring and then a center pin that contacts right in the middle of the center contact. And so even if this wiggles just barely, like most people are afraid this wiggles, it's not going to have any problem because those pins are nicely spaced out that they're all centered on the battery contact. <clears throat> so there's not going to be a problem like that. And also, there's not two contact points. Right here, this is a foam piece to protect it so uh, the other side doesn't contact with the magnet. But basically, I have the door open and I'm going to turn this on. Da, da, da. So it doesn't need to be um, the door can be open and the system still can be ran and all that jazz. The only reason is the door is there is so it pushes down and it keeps it nice and even inside the component and it doesn't the battery doesn't come flying out like an idiot. Also for another point, I'm still doing my research on to see if this actually lasts and works uh, pretty well. But I just took the battery out. I have the battery out. I'm going to leave the door open just so you guys don't think I'm fiddling around with you guys. I'm going to open this. Grab the cable. And I'm going to grab my 250 lantern over here. Plug in. Giving power right now. Door still open. Battery is still in my fingers right here. I'm gonna put it way over there. And watch this. You see it's charging. It's actually running without the battery. How neat is that? Now on lower setting though, it doesn't really function that well because it has a lot sort of a blinking issue but um, I think yeah not let me see yeah not even on low but when it's on max performance it doesn't blink at all so you can have this ring on max without an issue which is nice <laughs> So let me turn this on, unplug the battery, I mean the thing, boom. So it works nicely. Now I gotta roll this back up. Boom. So there you guys go. You have the secrets revealed and you know a bit more about the product of the ability itself and some more secrets about their systems so anyways I'm probably gonna see the Goal Zero website out of stock on the uh, replacement battery now because it's much more cheaper and people will know the secret to that so they'll be like oh, yeah 
Oh yeah, we can get 20 of those and just rip it apart. Use it for no normal stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. And also, they know a bit more about the ability of uh, flashlights. And maybe the run time's better. And I'll probably give you an update on how long it actually runs on low. When I get this fully charged and correctly. Corrected it is because I still have to recharge it three two two to three more cycles to get the battery at its top peak performance. But besides that I will see you guys on the next light ability. Peace out.